Welcome back to our video series on the play framework using Scala. We left off last time where we had written these tests and they were failing. Uh, it was failing with a, a fun error where this eventually was never finishing. And the eventually itself is going to sit there and wait and try to do things over and over again. And if it fails to do the things that are inside of it, it simply says that it, it wasn't able to do it in a certain period of time. And that period of time happens to be 15 seconds. Uh, so what's going on here? Okay, this looks like reasonably happy code, looks like it should work. Well, it turns out that the problem is that the find query is not just a general CSS selector. Okay, it is looking for IDs and then defaulting to name, just like the, the click on. If we want this to use CSS, we have to actually specify that it is a CSS selector, which once again, this is in the one browser per suite. So we have access to that. And all we have to do is wrap this in the CSS selector. Now, in case you're wondering how one might come across that generically, uh, basically just doing a Google search for, for Selenium and Scala test and CSS selector brought me to the fact there is a class called CSS selector and then looking in the API, sure enough, there's the way to access it. Okay, so now this is happy. Turns out even more, we don't need the eventually for this call. I'm gonna put the eventually down here under submit. We will need it in just a second. But the go to is paused. I also wanna add another uh, test in here. So you can check for the source of the page or the title of the page. And in this case, our login page has a title of login. That's what's passed right here, uh, just like the, the heading does. So we want, when this is done, we better be on a, a page that has the, the title of login. If you have multiple, uh, multiple different pages in an application, giving them unique titles, can actually improve testability dramatically because it's a very easy thing for, for you to test. Okay, so now what should happen after the submit? When we click on submit here, this should go validate and then the validate on the login post, if everything works, should redirect us to the task list. Okay, so what does the task list look like? If we come to our view. The task list A, it has a page title of task list and it has an H2 of task list. Well, you know, those would probably be good things to look for. So how about we check to see if those things exist, can run that. What else is, should be true of our task list? Uh, well, it should have a list of the tasks that we have on here. And they are going to be inside of uh, the li elements for our list items inside of our unordered list. Okay. Hmm, so what failed here? Uh, code passed to eventually didn't go normally. Interesting. Let's go back to our spec. Now it turns out we can put print statements inside of our tests and this eventually is going to sit here and happen repeatedly. And so we can actually kind of see where this gets to. So if I do a print line in eventually, I can do a print line here. If it gets to this line, that means that the title passed. If it gets here, 
that means that the H2 was found. And we know it's not getting to the last thing because otherwise our test would have passed. Let's run again and we'll see how far it gets. You'll get some nice printouts. It'll kind of be hard to miss. So it says in eventually. It is never getting to the page title being task list when we logged in. And I can think of actually a reason why that might happen. What if I replace this with login? So the in eventually, that is still not passing the title. Interesting. So we can get the current URL. It's a string. That might be a nice thing for us to print to find out where we went to. And if our login failed, we should have been redirected back to the login page. But that would have had a title of login. Okay, it is clicking the submit on the get and not on the post, uh, which has a blank username because that one didn't get submitted there. Okay, so we have to figure out how to get our submit and the submit method. Should be down here. Uh, this is all we have for for the submit. Uh, no additional information on it. Um, we need to make sure that we submit the page or the hit the submit button for this post and not this git. Right now it appears the testing is going to the first one. Uh, it also appears from what this printed out here that the password is going into the git field. So the code that we have for setting this is currently setting the password with that name and not the ID. Hmm. Okay. So these are a few problems that we have to overcome to make sure that we can get our login and go to that the next page. We'll come back in the next video. We'll fix those issues and hopefully be able to see all of our tasks on the page inside of our test.